My friend was not allowed to board the flight. The rest of us still went on vacation. Now she wants us to pay her back. Am I the a-hole if I don't pay her? Three friends and I planned a vacation to Hawaii. We booked the flight, hotel, and car together for a discount, and then split the cost four ways. So we each paid roughly $800. We also booked a couple of things to do there, totaling around $250. The day of the flight, we arrived at the airport and started going through TSA. One of my friends, I'll call her Sarah, got stopped because she had a weed pin in her bag. She says she just forgot it was in there and didn't intentionally bring it. But it doesn't really matter either way. TSA ended up calling airport PD, and Sarah was not allowed to board the flight. Weed is not legal in our state. She wasn't arrested, but she got a ticket and court date and not allowed through security. Obviously, the rest of us are still going on the flight because we're looking forward to our vacation. Now we're back, and Sarah is mad at all of us for going and wants us to pay her back for her portion of things since she couldn't go. But I don't think we should have to. It's not our fault she wasn't allowed to fly, and I didn't budget for paying for her half as well. She's also mad because the airport is one hour from our home city, and we didn't give her the keys to the car, so she had to pay for an Uber home. We didn't say she couldn't have the keys, it's just that no one thought to give her the keys to Matt's car when it was all going down. One of my friends says we should just pay her to keep the peace. But I don't think we should have to. Matt also thinks we shouldn't have to pay her. If we split her costs, it will be about $350 each. I could technically afford it, but I'm working on paying off my credit card, and that's about the same amount I put toward the credit card each month. So it would put me a month behind on my plan to pay off my credit card. I was a little irresponsible in my early 20s. Am I the a-ho if I refuse to pay her back? And even if I'm not the a-ho, should I just do it anyway to keep the peace? Now for the top comments. Info. Why didn't she get a later flight once everything was cleared up? I don't travel often, so I don't know how it works, but I assume she would have had to pay for another flight and wouldn't have wanted to do that. She was also pretty angry at that point. We all received some angry texts when our plane landed, so that could have contributed to her not even trying. I still say I don't think she's actually mad at us, I think she's mad at herself and taking it out on us, which is not great, but it is out of character for her. I think the whole thing is just really frustrating for her, so we're giving her grace there. This is 100% her fault. None of you did anything wrong, and there is no reason at all to reimburse her for her costs. The flight is a no. You might consider reimbursing her for the accommodations, however, that would only be an extreme kindness and not an obligation. The Uber is her responsibility. Bottom line, she was irresponsible bringing the pen and should have known better. You all agreed to a certain amount to do this, and if one person backed out and didn't want to, that would have changed the terms and charges agreed on. There was a verbal contract, and her intent was to obviously go. There is the old saying, ignorance of the law is no excuse. She has to eat her costs, and the rest of you are under no obligation to give her money. Not the A. Sarah effed up. She gets to bear the consequences. I wouldn't give her a penny. And she forgot the pen in her bag? Sure she did. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.